Good morning. So I'm with Mr. Noah, if you can see him back there, the cutie pie. Yeah, Chloe's not here. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just me and Noah today. Chloe is at school. And um, I have to work later today because of a schedule change. So my husband took Chloe to school and Noah would normally be going to therapy today. However, he has a fever this morning. Yesterday we had to pick him up early from school um, because he had a fever. And then this morning when he woke up, he had a fever still. Um, he is acting sick, even though he's not really having any, having much sneezing or runny nose right now. He kind of always has a little bit because he has allergies. So it's nothing out of the ordinary right now, but he does have a fever and he's acting sick. My poor baby. I feel so bad for him. Sometimes I just am like, man, can he just catch a break, you know? So, because he's feeling sick, we have been around the house. I kind of just let him play with his iPad this morning or do whatever he wants to do this morning. He really hasn't been feeling like eating. So, I, um... It's been a while since breakfast and I've been trying to give him juice and Gatorade, but he hasn't, he just doesn't have much of an appetite. He really doesn't want to eat or drink. So we came to Starbucks because he loves the um, warm butter croissants. And I knew this would be easy on his stomach and probably something easy for him to eat that he enjoys. And it worked, so he's eating it. And I'm thankful because he really didn't eat hardly anything last night or this morning. And we gave him like normal foods that he wouldn't eat. So I'm glad he's eating that. So I really just wanted to get him out of the house for a little bit because I figured the sunshine and fresh air couldn't hurt um, since he was feeling so down or whatever. Plus I want to give him a break from the iPad because if we're at, he's at home and he wants to be on his iPad when, when he's sick or he, you know, he doesn't really want to play and when he's sick I'm not going to force the issue but I would do like to give him a little bit of a break from you know. So since we are um, going out to get, or since we decided to come out to Starbucks, I actually need to pick up a package from UPS um, that I was going to be picking up today after dropping them off. Um, so I figured I might as well still just go ahead and go pick up my package and just take him with me because it's just, you know, just a car ride, but at least it's a little bit of fresh air and sunshine and it'll be just a quick trip to go get in and come back so that's what we're doing and that's pretty much it i'm gonna go ahead and go just wanted to check in with you guys hope you're having a fabulous day and i probably won't be back until tomorrow unless we'll see if if there's anything i want to talk about after i get off work today but other than that it'll just be me spending some time with this little cutie pie I am you know I hate that he's sick but I am enjoying just having time with just me and him because we don't really get that anymore um, and actually when we got in the car he was like where's Chloe well in his you know he can say Chloe he's, he's never said like where's but he just like Chloe Chloe like looking at her car seat so um, you know his vocabulary I mean, his, you know, his communication is not that good. So that's, to me, that meant, where's Chloe? <laughs> so, yeah, that was cute. Um, that he actually kind of missed her a little bit. So, anyway, talk to y'all later. Bye. Hey, y'all. Happy Thursday. So... <clears throat> I am with my little Noah today. He, I kept him out of school again today. Um, this morning when he got up, he just was really like lethargic and he didn't have a fever anymore, but um, he was really just like tired and not acting like himself. So I kept him out of school so I can keep an eye on him. And um, shortly after he got up, um, my husband put him back down in the bed just to see if maybe he was just really tired. So we put him back down and after he got up, he was acting like his normal self, thankfully. So I think he's over this little hump that he had. He does not have a fever, but I still kept him home. I mean, honestly, it was like eight o'clock in the morning, so I could have taken him to school at that point, but I just decided to keep him home 
so I can keep an eye on him, make sure he's doing good. And I have to say, I've enjoyed my time with just him. Um, not that we don't miss Miss Chloe, but you know, it's nice to have some mommy son time. So, and I forgot how easy he is when it's just him alone compared to if it's both of them. <laughs> So yeah, this morning we went to the mall and I let him play the little mall playground a little bit. I don't want to take him outside because I figured it might be too much with him just kind of getting over Do his it. little sickness. Do it. Um, Do it. And uh, I needed to exchange some stuff at the mall anyway. So it's like kill two birds with one stone type of deal. Um, so yeah, and then I just picked up a Target order that I need like just like a few things that I needed like paper plates and stuff for the house um, and then now we're here to pick up Miss Chloe uh, I try to I'm gonna try to wait out here in the car for a few minutes before I pick her up because if I go in too early she'll still be eating lunch and I don't like to interrupt her so I got Mr. Noah some french fries and he's eating those so probably after he's done we'll go in there and pick her up so um, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to prolong this because I've noticed my vlogs have been, I've had to cut a lot out because apparently I like to sit and talk to myself. <laughs> so I'll just be rambling on car vlogs, talking about nothing. So yeah, I'm going to try to be mindful of that. Um, just so it doesn't get boring. But anyway, I'm going to go. If something interesting comes up that I want to show y'all or talk to y'all about, then I'll be back. Uh, but yeah, see y'all later. Bye. Hey y'all, happy Friday. I'm actually getting ready to switch bags because I actually am going to get a couple hours just to do me. So I'm just going to, um, I'm not really running any errands per se. Like I have to go return something, but that's not a big deal. Um, but I'm just going to kind of chill. Like I'm going to go to the mall. And then I'm going to go to happy hour alone. <laughs> Just because my, my husband ended up scheduling time for my nanny today for me for just three hours. But it's just to give me like a little bit of a break. So I'm just going to take advantage. But anyway, uh, so I'm going to switch bags. I have been carrying this nonstop since I got it pretty much every day. Not to work, but every other day that I have... Um, that I'm going somewhere besides work. So I decided to switch into this just because um, you probably saw this on like my eBay haul that I um, posted, I believe. I think it was, it was in a vlog. I haven't actually carried this. I got this for a awesome deal. It was like $70, I think. This is vintage um, and I cleaned it up. Like I used the baby wipe to clean it and to clean the inside. It actually really wasn't that dirty for it to be so old, but it did kind of have that vintage smell to it. So I kind of had been just letting it um, sit with air paper in it um, in a room to kind of get the vintage smell out. And I think, I think the smell is gone at this point. So this is what the interior looks like. It's like this micro, well, I don't know what kind of interior it is, but there's a couple like little pin marks but to me, that's not a big deal. Because again, this bag is from like the 80s, I believe. So, it's gonna switch out some stuff. Not everything, but. So, first up is my mini pochette. And this, I do like to take with me everywhere because it kind of has like just essentials in there, like gloss and, um, what else is in there? Hand sanitizer, hand lotion, that kind of stuff. Sometimes my, my AirPods are in there, but they're not right now. I'm put that in there. And that fits like really easily. And then the wallet I'm carrying right now is this one by Gucci. So I'm gonna put that in there. I meant to switch into my Gucci Blooms wallet today, but I ran out of time this morning, so I'm not gonna worry about it now. But got my keys. Got my coin purse, which is not really a necessity because I'm 
probably won't be using any cash while I'm out. And I think that's all I'm going to switch over. The only other stuff I had in here was a pull-up <laughs> and this little, um, what's this, tripod and a random receipt. And then, of course, my phone will be going in here, too. So, yeah, all that fit pretty good. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. It actually looks to be in better shape. Um, now that it's filled up with my stuff, so cool. And I'll show you. So this is what it looks like with all that in there. So my phone will fit in there easily. Hey y'all, so I'm out and about, and I had to turn on the camera real quick because I just heard like the craziest radio commercial. Um, so I was listening just to like my local radio, not serious or anything like that, and. Um, if somebody had called in to win something and y'all will not believe what she won i give you like three seconds to try to guess okay one two three okay she won breast augmentation so apparently um there's a clinic here that needs business so bad that they're willing to give away a breast augmentation to a radio station caller so i have so many problems with that <laughs> I don't have a problem with plastic surgery because I feel like it's your body and that's what you want to do and you're old enough to make those decisions and you're doing it for the right reasons, then do you, boo. But my problem comes is that if I was the person who won, well, first of all, I wouldn't be the person who won because I wouldn't call in for that. But if I was the person that won, I don't know that I want to take them up on it because I'm like, if it's free, is it going to be that good? And once you mess me up, I mean, am I, am I going to be on botch nets? Like... Do y'all watch that show? I don't even know if that still comes on, but if y'all don't know what that is, it's a show where um, people have like messed up plastic surgery and these two um, Beverly Beverly Hills uh, plastic surgeons correct it. <laughs> so I'm not trying to be on the next episode of Botched. And I just thought that was hilarious that they were actually giving a breast augmentation away. So yeah, that was it. None too deep. We're not gonna get all um, philosophical about plastic surgery or nothing like that. I'm sure everybody has their own opinion on it, but um, just wanted to let y'all know about that crazy giveaway. So anyway, I am arriving at Old Navy because I needed to bring something back um, that I ordered online. And this person just backed out of the park and sat here like 10 seconds for no freaking reason, but anyway so yeah I gotta take something back and then I actually think I'm gonna go to world market because it recently opened up by my house um, it's the first one in our city which I don't live in a tiny well I live in the outskirts but like Tampa I live in Tampa the Tampa area and it's not like it's a tiny area but this is the first world market to open up in the Tampa area I'm pretty sure so yeah I'm probably gonna go in there next cuz that's right here by Old Navy and yeah I'll try to take y'all with me bye Hey y'all, so I just left World Market. Sorry I wasn't able to get much footage, but honestly, there were a lot of people in there, kind of, probably because they just opened. And I'm embarrassed to film around other people, to be completely honest. So, <laughs> sorry about that. But I did get a few things. I didn't get much. I didn't really get anything for the home, not really. And it's not that they didn't have a lot of nice stuff, because they did, but a lot of it was like outdoor or yeah a lot they had a lot of outdoor stuff and kitchenware and i definitely don't need kitchenware and i don't really need anything outdoor and i kind of i mean I, there's plenty of real plenty of things that i could add to my house but i didn't see anything that i had to have and i wasn't really 
I was really just there to kind of see what they had. But I did pick up some of the food goodies because I didn't even really realize they had food like that. I mean, it's just like snack stuff. But first up is this drink because I'm ready to open it. But this is the Omniberry Sparkling. And it's only 55 calories for this whole thing. And there's no, <clears throat> no caffeine or anything like that in it. And I just thought it looked good, honestly. It was at checkout. So I'm about to open this now. I have water in my cup, but I'm going to empty this out. And I'm going to pour that in there. So I just pour the whole thing in here. It's pretty good. I really like it. Especially for 55 calories. It kind of tastes similar to uh, um, like sparkling water. But a little sweeter and a little bit more flowery. Flowery. Is that a word? Floral. <laughs> But I'll show y'all the ingredients in case y'all are interested. If that shows up. Oh, you can't see them, but trust me. It's all natural ingredients. So, other thing I picked up was this lemon ch lemon chilino, which is an Italian soda. And I like these. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to drink it anytime soon, but we do. Um, I do like to buy these every now and then just to keep in my house because sometimes if people come over or if I just feel like having something like that they're really nice kind of like fancy little soda <laughs> fruit fruit soda plus you can mix that I've never had the world market one but I've had another like sparkling limoncello type soda and you can mix it with vodka and it kind of tastes like a lemon drop if you've ever had one of those you don't have to add any sugar or anything to it because it's already in the soda so just a little tip Anyway, I got these uh, kitchen towels just because I needed some more. I always like to kind of replenish these and change them out every season. Um, and I like to have at least like two sets per season. So I got these right now. I have yellow in my kitchen, the yellow towels. But I mean, I switch them out literally like every week or so. But just got those. Those were only $12.99 for four towels. I got this. Um, elderflower and rose and rose lemonade not rose rose lemonade and I used to drink this um, I started drinking it when I got pregnant with Noah actually <laughs> because I wanted to drink like a mocktail type drink and I really like these these are really very tasty um, they're not a health food or anything I think it's 90 calories per serving which is eight and a half ounces so it's not horrible but again um, if you like elderflower uh, liqueur like Saint Germain it kind of tastes like similar to that but of course no alcohol um, so it's kind of like a floral <laughs> drink <laughs> apparently I like to drink flowers who knew but it's really good I used to buy it at fresh market before so uh, this is actually closer to me than fresh market so I'm glad you know I can get it here sometimes you can find it at, like home goods too I also got this pillow spray and this is in the eucalyptus mint they had a, other, a few other scents there as well but this one just feels very stress relieving and the last pillow spray I had I ran out of and I just um, I think it was from Bath and Body Works the last time I went in there to look for it they didn't have it so I don't know if they still sell it um, but I saw this and it was like $7.99 so I decided to try this one out I also picked up this granite and marble cleaner it's completely random but we have things that we spray on our countertops to clean them, but I feel like I need something a little bit more heavy duty. And just looking at this box, this uh, canister, I feel like it's more heavy duty than some of my like daily granite cleaner sprays. Uh, it is safe for sealed uh, natural stone surfaces. We don't have marble. We have our. I know y'all have seen my kitchen before, just from, from me filming in there. Our um, countertops are actually a granite. Um, it's a super white. I think is what it's called super white granite or 
white fantasy or something like that <laughs> but it was anyway we um i knew like when we built our house that we're in now we actually picked out that granite we went to the stone yard and found it and i love it because i didn't want marble because i know how easy it is to get like marked up and to me the granite that we have was like the best of both worlds like granite is a lot more hard standing than marble but it the one we picked out is still very light but it has some gray in there and I just I really like it sorry tangent <laughs> but anyway so I decided to try this out <laughs> and I never tried it before so I don't know how it's gonna be also picked up this um, it's olives Italian style and I love olives so oh they got the label on their crooked but I'm not gonna hold it against them um, this one says it's blended with sun-dried tomatoes caper berries and spicy Italian seasoning so that sounds really delish um, the other olive salad that I showed in one of my other vlogs I get from a farmers market uh, that they have at like an outdoor mall by us they do it like every other weekend so of course I'll still be getting those but this was way cheaper than those that the big olive thing that I showed you from the farmers market is like $16 this was only like $5 so if this is a good substitute then you know that might be something I switch out I don't know though I like to support small local businesses so I'll probably still get that but you know and then I picked up a bottle of wine this is the archivist I don't know how you pronounce it but it's a rosé and honestly I picked it because I was just drawn to the butterfly on the bottle <laughs> and I usually like rosé wines so uh, hopefully I like this one and that's it for my little world market haul All right, so from now, I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go to um, the restaurant because I'm getting kind of hungry. And then after that, I'm gonna stop by the grocery store real quick before I go home. So I'll see y'all later. Bye. Not fancy, but so good. <laughs>